Welcome everyone to your Sharper Reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please hit that big old like button and subscribe. These readings are for the collective. Okay, so let's get in here and see what's going on with you this month. Best message coming out is wisdom. Talking about that heart chakra. Opening up that heart chakra with that compassion. This wisdom card, ooh, I like it already. <laughs> this wisdom card is asking you for maturity, tranquility, excuse me, and support. This is about the wise counsel, focused energy, honoring yourself, contribution, being chosen, contentment, and transformation. So what this card is asking you, do I go with my heart or against it? Am I ready to live in leadership? So ask yourself these questions, right? This is what you want. Is there some wise counsel that you have sought only to ignore it? Are you trying to do things alone? A solution may come from those more experienced than yourself. Stay in the present moment and do not let your thoughts jump ahead. Ooh, make sure you're grounding yourself in the present. Okay. So it's saying to be in the present is to be wise, right? You don't want to be jumping all over the place. You don't want to be living in the past and you don't want to be living too far in the future, right? Trust. You want to be in the present. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Talking about that intuition. Your intuition, your intuition knows best. Man, my mouth doesn't know how to talk today. <laughs> I'm going to talk like Elmer Fudd here in a minute, right? It's like, oh my gosh. Okay. Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. card coming out of that fear is obstacles and challenges. Are you allowing the obstacles and challenges to test you too much to where they're, you're fearing outcomes and not trusting in the universe? Oh, I see where this is going. Thank you. I just heard it. Thank you. Moving on. Yeah, I see it already. Okay, this is exactly what it is. There's something you guys are manifesting. There's something you're trying to do. You need to trust in the universe. The universe is saying you are not trusting in, the, in your intuition and your gut feelings. Obstacles and challenges are before you at this time. Okay, you need to use that overall wisdom. The overall wisdom is already your key to success. You already have it within yourself, my friends. But because we are made of duality, negative and positive energies, you're allowing your fear to tell you to overtake your trust. It's almost like to the point where, okay, let's use this as an example. I've been trying to manifest something and do something, or I'm taking action on something, and I've been working really, really hard at this situation, and I don't see an outcome yet. I, I've pretty much lost my patience in that situation. Okay, this is just an example. You can throw it away and use your own. Use your own, right, your own intuition of, for what you know it is. Uh, but, but however it is, I'm losing faith that and trust that this is going to happen. So I'm starting to fear that what I love and what I'm trying to do is not going to work. This is because I'm becoming very impatient. So I'm starting to feel like, should I move on from this situation? Because it's, you know, it's taking a long time. My friends, things do take a long time. You can't sit here and say, well, I've been doing this for a month and I haven't seen any real results. Well, maybe it's the type of situation where it's going to take longer to see results. It needs, it needs time to build, to grow, to structure. It's like building a house. You start with a foundation. You put up a couple of, you know, a couple of pieces of uh, four by four wood. Okay, well, overnight, it's not going to just get walls, right? It takes time to bring the walls in. It takes time to structure. It, time, it takes time to take the electricity in, put that electricity in, and we have to call a plumber. Do you see the point I'm making? It doesn't happen overnight, okay? Certain things might, and then certain things don't, okay? And you could say, well, I did this once before, and this, this never moved this slow. Well, maybe it's a different kind of process. It's carrying a different kind of energy. Everything you do in life carries its own energy. Everything, right? You could say, I opened up this one, build, this one business. I have two businesses. I opened up this business over here, People came in so fast, boom, 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 boom. But this one's been sitting over here and it's not doing very well. And I'm barely making any money. Why, you know, I built this one over here. How come this one's, because they're in two different areas and they're carrying two different kinds of energy. 
Energy also has to do with location, things that are going on, right? There's other things going on. So you have to say, right, I need to trust within this situation. You're making more of an obstacle and a challenge out of something um, that actually needs more, more trust on. Through trust is wisdom. Wisdom is trust. That's why it's the Hierophant. What is the Hierophant card, my friends? It is that trust and wisdom within the universe to stay exactly where it is. To have trust is wisdom. Oh, I get it. Okay, so I realize that I am testing my resolve to live. You're testing yourself. With fear, you're giving yourself your own test. So, you know, and some people might be like, why are you testing me, Lord? Well, on this one, he's not. You are actually, because of the fear that you're, that you're making the obstacle and challenge into something worse than it is and not get, being patient about the situation and not trusting in the process, you're causing your own test, your own tribulations. Universe does test us with many things, but on this situation, the test is from your own self because there's no patience. So the universe is saying you need to move on from this situation. It's not that you need to move on from the situation. You need to move on from the fear and giving yourself all this heartache for nothing. Right? Because that's what we do as individuals. That's what we do as people because we harbor both. We harbor trust. We harbor fear. Doubts, worries. That's all that fear is, is doubts, worries. Okay, so it says long-term view. Well, I'm waiting for my pinnacles. You're saying I invested all this time and I'm waiting for the sustainable results. The universe says we'll keep waiting. Because number one, it's going to seem even longer than what's really going on because of the fear. So it's going to make it even feel like it's longer, like I've been waiting forever. But then when it actually happens... Once you put that trust in and it actually comes into fruitation, when you look back at the situation, you say, wow, that didn't really take that long at all. But because, yeah, I kind of screwed that one up because I guess I was too impatient. And impatience is like sitting there watching the clock. If you watch the clock, it's going to take forever. If you walk away from the clock, time moves. Because the more busy you are and not thinking about situations, things come up. Right? That's why they say set it and forget it, right? So that way you're not causing your own obstacles and challenges and, and impatience and fears and doubts and worries. Most of the setting it and forgetting it is definitely just about doubts and worries and impatience. Because once those set in, then you're like, oh, I'm never going to get this. Then you're going to start screwing up your manifestations and, you know, or just if you know that it's something that's going to happen anyways, you're just screwing up your own timing. Right? If it's inevitable that it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But now you're just causing your own heartache. That's what I wanted to say. Yes. Causing your own heartache. Yes. Set it and forget it. Stop looking at those and, and just wait for the Two of Cups. That's where the moving on is. Move on so that you can just see the Two of Cups behind you. Don't worry about that. You're causing your own tower. That's your own sudden chaos in your mind. Your own upsetness within the situation. Release all of that and then watch the sudden change come. Watch everything grow. Watch everything change for the, your highest good. And if it didn't, if it's something that's not going to happen, then it's not going to happen. Right? God's protection, you know, rejection is your protection or it's just not meant to be. We always have to see those things too. But having fear, doubts is not going to help that. That's just going to stir up chaos within your mind and your chakras. Then you're going to be in confusion and it just causes all kinds of depression and this and that and right now I can't eat. Now I can't sleep. Now I can't think. Queen of Wands, courage, confidence, zest for life, determination and joy. Find the uh, find the determination and joy within the situation and watch that wisdom come through. Because through all of that comes what needs to happen. That's where the justice comes in. Through the trust and the wisdom is having the courage and the determination. Like I said, even if it doesn't want to come in, then you can't make something happen that's not going to happen anyways. But fearing that it's not going to happen actually pushes it away. In some, in some cases, it pushes it away. 
And then in other cases where it's meant to be, it's just causing you a lot of unnecessary um, anxiety. And no matter what, it's going to do that anyways, right? So just wait for the rewards to come in and make sure that you're focusing on overcoming the challenge. Because as the King of Wands says, you can overcome this challenge. Just wait for your reward. Okay. Ooh. Best messages coming in. Angels, give us some messages for our beautiful friends. Yes. Say yes to the dress. I was going to set it there, but it does not want to. Listen to your intuition. Yes, absolutely. Okay. In the near future, okay, is success. There you go. Okay. And if, and it even says, you know, if, if anything happens, you can always help you know, ask help from others. There's no reason to always do things alone. Maybe ask for some advice, ask for whatever it is you need, right? Because within the next few weeks, you're gonna see things having a certain change around, okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love, bye-bye.